Okay, let's do a test of a screencast. So what we're doing here is we're going to do a Hello World program. Uh, I've got my shell open, terminal on Linux, or you could do this on Mac or Linux, and I've got my Atom editor. I've already saved this as hello.cpp, so I could just do a file, save as, and say, I'm going to save this as hello.cpp. It'll warn me because it's already there, but now it's there. So what do we got to do? We need to do an include IO stream, which is our input output stream. We need using namespace std. Now we don't really need this, but we'll talk about that a little bit as we go on. And we're going to create the main program or main function for our program. Every main in C and C++ should return zero to signal that it's a successful run of the program. And we're going to simply output hello world classic. And at the end of printing that hello world, we're going to print an end of the line just to make sure it goes to the next line. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go over to my console. Um, I've saved that in the coding directory. So this will be the same on Mac, Linux, Windows. Um, on M Linux and Mac, you are thrown into your home directory. So on Linux, this is home Ken Bauer. On Mac, it will be users Ken Bauer or whatever your user is. On Windows, if you're using the Ubuntu installation for Linux, you would need to do something like mount cd mount c users, whatever your username is, and then maybe go to your documents directory or wherever you have your files. So I've got it simply encoding, and I'm going to run g hello.cpp. Note on uh, the shell, you can use tab completion. You can't see this right now, but I'm about to hit the tab key, which is just above the uh, caps lock, and it auto completes. Um, get used to using autocomplete as your friend. So G++ hello.cpp, you'll notice it said nothing. And uh, the Unix and Linux systems have a no news is good news policy, so there's no problem, so it doesn't report anything. You'll notice if I do a listing of the directories, you've already learned CD, you've learned PWD, and now you're going to learn the LS. LS shows me I now have two files in this directory, hello.cpp and a.out. Um, you should run the a.out, technically you should run it with dot diagonal a dot out to specify dot means this directory slash inside that directory a dot out is the name of the program it's an executable that's why it's lit up in green on my uh, Linux console and it runs and it puts hello world we could change this to say hola mundo so I will change it and I will tell it to say hola mundo all right and I save it don't forget to save and then I run it and, and oh, you use, use those arrow keys down there on your keyboard. If you go up or down, it goes up to previous commands. So I'm going to run it again. Why didn't it change? Oh, I need to compile again. So, oh, yeah, I need to change the file. I saved it. I compile it. No news is good news. Run. Cool. That's your hello.world um, or hello world in. Uh, C++ on Linux, but it's pretty much the same on your Windows or Mac if you're using a terminal window on Mac or using the Ubuntu Linux add-on for Windows 10. I'll send you some links to that. And Atom is kind of the editor lots of you are using. I'm a big Emacs fan, but we won't go into the wars about Emacs and VI Vim. All right, have a good day.